Hi everybody, this is Justin from Zogo and today we're going to be talking about dynamic content. Um, first we're going to talk about what dynamic content is, um, why you would want to use it, and then we're going to take you through the process of actually setting up a dynamic content feed through our partners at C-Inspire and then getting it playing on your Zogo digital sign. Um, so first of all, what are we talking about when we mention dynamic content? Um, so basically it is content that is developed for digital signage screens. Um, this can be things like infotainment, uh, your social media feeds, or even pulling in um, Microsoft Teams or Yammer channels that you want to push to your digital signs. Um, this content is delivered via a URL, so you can view it in a web browser or on your digital signs. Um, and it typically is formatted for 16 by 9 screens, or uh, which can be in landscape or in portrait mode, or even um, on video walls, basically, that are stretched across multiple screens. So why would you want to use um, dynamic content in the first place? So basically, uh, there's a few reasons. The first is it allows you to, uh, to pull in content that you wouldn't be able to deliver yourself or design yourself. Um, examples of that include, you know, up to the minute uh, weather and uh, traffic reports, stock indices, um, anything that's happening in, in real time. So, you know, airport departure boards, things of this nature. Um, also, it can allow you to reuse work that you've already done. So whether you're a small business or a large business, you know, you might have uh, social media channels that you're already posting to. And then rather than having to create that same post in, you know, uh, in Photoshop or Illustrator, export it and then upload it into Zogo. If you have a dynamic feed, uh, you can actually take those posts and uh, pull them from Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, etc. Push them right to your digital signs. So it allows you essentially to put your content on autopilot and pull in things like infotainment and social media, um, or again, even uh, even team collaboration tools like Teams or Yammer and push them to your signs. So uh, what you're seeing on screen right now is um, the landing page for our partners at Sea Inspire. Um, now this is a Belgian company that we work closely with and they're a really great digital signage uh, dynamic content provider. So just scrolling down their screen um, and you'll find this link by the way on our website um, zogo.io slash content or you can find a uh, content link at the bottom of our website. That's going to explain a bit about Sea Inspire. Link you over here. They have a free trial. Um, basically, they uh, the three sorts of um, types of content they have again are infotainment, um, social media, and then Teams collaboration tools. So companies like Sea Inspire, um, in particular, they offer about 150 channels of content. Um, they all get delivered via URL. They're available in multiple languages. Um, and you can actually uh, dial in most of the localized ones um, so that you can, for instance, input your postal code and then you can see the uh, traffic or weather that's, um, that's up to date for your area. So pretty cool stuff really. Scrolling down their website a little bit, you'll see a few examples of some of their content. Um, that we have playing. So again, infotainment, it's anything from you know news, weather, sports, um, We've got Instagram and Facebook feeds, local weather, etc. Uh, traffic, pretty interesting. Um, and then how it works again is you're going to uh, set up your feeds uh, with your content provider, in this case, the Inspire. Um, they get delivered as URLs, so then you can plug those URLs into Zogo. Um, you know, just like they were a graphic or a video, you can schedule them, set the duration, how long you want each item to play, um, and then push it out to your Zogo screens. So let's dive right into that. Um, I'm going to switch tabs here, and here I'm logged into my own C Inspire account. And if I just scroll down the page, you're gonna see lots of different feed options. So again, anything from news, you know, weather, traffic, um, they have inspirational uh, quotes of the day, thoughts of the day. Um, scrolling down here, you'll see a few more of the options, even air quality. Uh, which lately has been a, an issue where I live with uh, Canadian wildfires going on. Um, stock indices, currency rates, etc. So there's really, really a wide range of content that you can choose to pull in uh, to your screens uh, to keep your viewers engaged and put things on autopilot a little bit without you having to design new content all the time. So let's go ahead and take you through the process of actually setting up uh, a feed and then getting the URL for it and popping it into Zogo. So I'm going to create a social media feed 
And let's just click on create feed here. I'm gonna create social. And I'll try to run through this pretty quickly, um, but I just wanted viewers to see how easy this is and what the process is actually. Um, so you know what, let's do an Instagram feed today. And I was just drinking a Coke, so let's do Coca-Cola Instagram feed. And let's see, so content sources, I'm gonna click to add some content. Now I'm signed into my own Instagram account here, which you need to do in order to use Insta. And I know that the account for Coca-Cola is at Coca-Cola here. In fact, I might not need the at symbol. Oh, there we go. There's Coke. And a few different options. I'm not going to go through everything in detail, um, but curation. There's a lot of options here where you can choose to uh, to have all of the, the content auto-approved um, to push to your signs, or you can actually manually curate things too. Um, so for instance, you can make it so that nothing goes to your signs in the feed unless you click on it and approve it. Um, obviously with Coca-Cola, they've already got marketing people that are, that are pre-approving things. So anything appearing on their Instagram should be uh, okay and appropriate to push to your signs as well. Um, here we can go hide posts older than a certain time period. Um, for this, for our purposes, let's just pull in uh, just posts from the last month, okay? I'm going to click on add content. All right, and what we're going to see is in the background, um, all of the Coca-Cola content on Instagram from the past month is starting to populate um, on the C Inspire service here. Now, we have a couple of choices for feed layout as well. Um, and we'll get to more of that in a moment. Um, the main choice is do you want things to appear as a grid, uh, which looks pretty cool. It's basically got several posts um, on screen at one time. Um, or do you want to use their Uno layout, which is just one post at a time. It changes every few seconds as long as you have it on screen. I generally prefer that one, so let's just use Uno for right now. And then I'm going to click to finish setup. And then you're going to see a preview of what this is going to look like. So here's our Coca-Cola content. And if I let this play for a few seconds, you're going to see um, several different uh, Instagram posts that they have. So all Olympic stuff. Pretty cool, actually. Um, then we have a few options we can do, too. So if you were to go to feed settings up here, for instance, um, you know, you can use a profanity filter. We don't need to worry about that with Coke. Um, you can, you know, put in custom words to block, maybe a competitor name or something. Um, if we go to feed layout, there's a few things you can do. The transition color in between, we might want to change that if we were Coca-Cola to be their red color. Um, you can change the, the font type. So we might want uh, Arial, for instance, and you'll see that change just happened. Um, so the font coming through in Arial and getting pushed to your screens. Um, rather than the default, so you can match your, your company branding that way. Um, theme mode, light or dark, I like light, and just some other things, background icons, these little hearts and likes and things, we can show whether we want, uh, choose whether we want to show those or not. Um, a few other things that may be interesting for you, um, we can choose how many seconds per slide. I usually end up adjusting this one. Um, so for instance, you know, I'm going to take how long I want this Instagram feed to be on my Zogo screen, at a time before the next piece of content kicks in. And let's just say that's gonna be, I might leave it up there for 30 seconds. So maybe I want each of these Instagram uh, slides to play for you know uh, anywhere from five to 10 seconds. I'm just gonna leave it at seven here, I think it's fine. Um, but you can adjust that. So you're adjusting how quickly the, the C Inspire Instagram feeds are flipping through. Um, and then separately, you're gonna adjust the playback order in Sogo and how long you want the C Inspire feed period to appear on screen before the next content comes in. And that's all gonna make, make sense in a moment. A um, Couple other things, you can choose to have a call to action um, on your Instagram feed or not. You know, uh, for instance, click to follow us or follow us at you know, um, instagram.com slash Coca-Cola. It's already gonna appear, the account name is in the bottom right there, so I think we're fine. Um, a couple other things, curate content, um, you know, again, this is where if there's any content you don't want pushing to the sign from the, the source, from Instagram in this case, um, you can click to decline and it won't show up on your Zogo screen. 
Um, last thing is just our feed URL. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. And now a couple things we can do with it. You can do another preview. You can just pop it into a web browser and see how it's going to look in Zogo, for instance. Um, or we can actually put it into Zogo. And let's go over and do that now. So I've just copied the URL. I opened up a, a browser tab with it just so you can see how it looks. And now let's pop over into uh, Windows 11. So I'm going to open up Zogo Manager, which probably looks familiar to you. So this part we're going to go through pretty quickly. And as you recall, uh, if we click plus new in the library, this is where we're going to be able to add media like our graphics and videos. Uh, you can also add URLs this way. So let's call this Coca-Cola Insta. I'm going to tab down. I'm going to paste in this C Inspire feed. And if I wanted to, I could tag the content if I had loads and loads of content so I could search it later. But I'm not going to do that. Just going to click save. And in a moment here, now we see the Instagram feed that we just added in the top left of our library. Um, let's just make a really simple playlist. I'm going to call it Demo, because I've been lazy with my playlist names. And let's do our Coca-Cola Instagram, and then maybe we throw a graphic on there as well, um, just to have some something to change back and forth from. Um, Coke is red, we'll do a red graphic. And you know from other videos that on the right here we can set the duration. So let's just set our duration time maybe to 45 seconds on the Insta feed and we'll make this one really short for the graphic, maybe five seconds and that's it. So let's click save. Now we have a playlist. Last thing to do is add a player here. I've got a demo player uh, running in Windows. Again, normally the player app would be running on uh, whatever device you have plugged into a TV. So, um, you know, it could be a Zogo Mini, uh, Amazon Fire Stick, a Windows PC, uh, Chrome bit. We, we run on everything these days. Um, but let's go ahead and just set it up here in Windows so it's easy. Um, YLGJ. There's our pin, and we're going to call this player demo as well. Not super inspired, I know. Uh, display orientation is going to be landscape. Let's tell it to play the demo playlist that we just made. We give it a fake time zone and click on save. All right, so now I'm going to pop the player on top here. And it's immediately going to start reaching out to our cloud. It's going to start playing the Instagram feed that we just set up. Um, so again, we, you'll remember that we have it set in C Inspire so that uh, it's playing each Instagram slide for about seven seconds and then transitioning between them. And overall, this Instagram feed is going to play for 45 seconds. And then we're going to see it transition over to the red graphic we uploaded and then back to the Instagram feed. Um, so it's as simple as that, really. Um, again, dynamic content is just a way to uh, allow you to sort of put your content um, on autopilot and supplement the graphics and videos that you're developing in-house with other information. So whether that's infotainment, social media feeds, or you know productivity sorts of feeds, um, it's a nice way to keep your content fresh.